Now, a video of Hardeep Singh Nijas killing in Canada has surfaced. The perpetrated video footage of the killing of India designated terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijar has surfaced, showing Nijar being shot by armed men in what has been described as a contract killing. Canada based CBC News has reported this. Nijar, who was designated a terrorist by the NIA in 2020, was shot and killed as he came out of a Gurdwara in Surrey in British Columbia on the evening of June 18, 2023. The video has been obtained by the Fifth Estate and has been independently verified by more than one source. This is what CBC News is saying. The attack that is being described as being highly coordinated involves six men and two vehicles. The apparent targeted killing of the president of the Guru Nanak Sikh Gurdwara ultimately led to accusations from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. If you remember that the government of India had a hand in the killing, an allegation that India has unequivocally refuted saying, where's the proof? Give us the proof. Don't make unsubstantiated charges. But that is a video which has been accessed by a foreign agency, which they claim has been independently verified as well of Niger's assassination. Arvind Ojha is now joining us over the phone line. Arvind, what can you give us about this video footage? नहीं देखिए बकायदा जो हरदीप सिंह निज्जर था जो डेजिनेटेड टेररिस्ट था इंडियन गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से 18 जून 2023 को उसकी कनाडा में हत्या हो गई थी अब ये सीसीटीवी फुटेज कनाडियन पुलिस के हवाले से एक न्यूज एजेंसीज को मिला है जिसमें बताया गया है कि वेल कोऑर्डिनेटेड ये अटैक था हरदीप सिंह निज्जर पा निज्जर पर जिसमें सीसीटीवी फुटेज में दिखाई दे रहा है कि एक जो सस्पेक्ट सस्पेक्टेड की कार है वो बकायदा हरदीप सिंह का जो निज्जर का ट्रक था उसको फॉलो करती है और फिर सामने से आकर रुकती है और हरदीप सिंह निज्जर पर लगातार कई गोलियां मारी जाती है ये भी जानकारी मिली थी कि सिक्स अक्यूज थे सिक्स हमलावर थे जिन्होंने हरदीप सिंह निज्जर पर गोली चलाई थी लेकिन जो कनाडा पुलिस है वो इंडियन एजेंसीज को इसके लिए जिम्मेदार ठहराती है लेकिन आज की डेट में हकीकत ये है कि नाइन मंथ हो चुके हैं न तो किसी सस्पेक्ट का पिक्चर रिलीज किया गया है कनाडियन पुलिस की तरफ से नहीं अब तक किसी को अरेस्ट किया गया है वो अलग बात है किसको लेकर कनाडा में काफी पॉलिटिक्स हुई और कनाडा की गवर्नमेंट ने इंडियन गवर्नमेंट पर आरोप लगाया था हरदीप सिंह निज्जर की किलिंग का जी अरविंद हमारे साथ बने रहिए डैनियल बॉर्डमन हु इज अ कनेडियन जर्नलिस्ट ही इज जॉइनिंग अस ओवर द फोन लाइन दिस मॉर्निंग इन इंडिया डैनियल थैंक यू सो मच ही इज इन फैक्ट लाइव विद अस डैनियल थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन इंडिया टुडे डैनियल व्हाट कैन यू टेल अस अबाउट दिस फुटेज दिस वीडियो फुटेज परपेटली ऑफ हरदीप सिंह निजर्स एसेसिनेशन ऑन द 18th ऑफ जून 2023 व्हिच हैज बीन एक्सेस्ड एंड रिलीज्ड बाय द फिफ्थ स्टेट वेल Honestly, it doesn't really change much. The only thing it really changes is when people see a video, it brings it back into the public eye. But there was always only two viable theories of who killed him, right? There's Justin Trudeau's claim, which is it was um, an assassination attempt by the Indian government. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense that these would be trained professional killers, which is what you see here. And then the sort of Occam's razor uh, or the the other, you know, potential uh perpetrator here is listen hardeep singh nijar was a calistani terrorist right by his own mm. supporters admissions he was the head of the calistan tiger force here in mm. canada calistani gang leaders or terrorists whatever you want to call them they kill each other a lot this happens a lot and um calistani assassinations of other calistani gang leaders are quite common in that case it would be trained professional killers who killed him so what we see is evidence of trained professional killers so it doesn't really move the needle um in terms of which theory is correct here or there. I mean, we can rule out the Girl Scouts and my 97-year-old grandmother now that we have the video footage, um, but no one was really pursuing those angles to begin with. So we're, we're really back at square one. Um, and the only thing, I mean, that this changes, again, is it brings it into the public eye. Once people see something on video, um, it becomes a more official story uh, because that's how human beings work. So does this prove um, Justin Trudeau's theory? No. Does it prove the sort of countervailing theory? No. It provides evidence that this was uh, trained professional killers, but we knew that from the start. So we're, we just kind of have the video now of what we all knew. But Daniel, just to understand that, like you just pointed out, it proves nothing. It doesn't prove one theory or the other. It's just video footage of what we've known so far already since June 2023. But the 
Canadian administration and the Prime Minister himself, Justin Trudeau, jumped to conclusions, pointed fingers at the Indian administration, saying that this was, you know, uh, an assassination which was orchestrated by Indian agencies without any proof of evidence, which India, of course, challenged, saying, show us the proof. Why has there been... I mean, why has the investigation, if at all it's happening, been so slow? We've seen no photographs of any possible suspects. Nobody has been arrested so far in this case. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to, I'm not in the, inside the intelligence agencies to give you the direct answer to that question. Um, the, the, again, without being part of the investigation or part of Trudeau's cabinet, I can't give you a definitive answer, but there's there's many possible answers. One, it could be they have nothing, so they're stalling. Um, and and they don't want to give any evidence out. And the longer this sort of drags on, they can show a video and, you know, push their narrative out there and hope for some sort of settlement outside of this. Um, two, they could be doing a very, 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 very thorough investigation because there could be so much evidence out there that they just want to sift through it so carefully um, to get to the bottom of this. Maybe, but that would not fit within the MO of, of the Canadian intelligence agencies in the last 10 years. Um, and the other, I mean, what could take so long? It could also be incompetence. Like the, the Canada, I mean, where I'm from in Toronto, I know this is out in BC, but in, in Toronto, um, our police force, uh, there were two billionaires who were killed, Barry and Honey Sherman. Billionaires, very famous billionaires were killed, um, and they were hung from uh, the rafters in their house, both of them. It was quite graphic, and, and the Toronto police came in and, and ruled it a murder-suicide in the most obscene thing ever, and then sullied the crime scene, and it was general incompetence uh, that they couldn't even solve or even get close to solving the high-profile case. So you could have hyper-confidence, hyper-competence, hyper-incompetence. Um, or you could have uh, stalling techniques. Uh, these could be the, the three. And again, we're, we're not going to know unless, you know, someone douses Justin Trudeau with true serum and asks him some questions here. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to get to the bottom of, of why they're doing what they're doing. But again, I'll say this doesn't prove either theory one way or the other. This just shows video. And when people see videos of things, it, it it's good for the news, right? We can get it back in people's minds. We can, you know, it, it becomes a news story again, right? The fifth estate gets to do a story here, but okay, you're right. We, we are, this, this kind of is, confirms everything we already knew uh, in June. So nothing has been learned here, uh, but we have a fancy video. So, yay. Okay. Daniel Boardman, thank you so much for joining us uh, from uh, Toronto and giving us a sense of uh, where the investigation is at as far as Hardeep Singh Nijar's uh, killing is concerned. But that new footage, of course, uh, like Daniel pointed out, doesn't exactly explain anything more than what we already knew.